got a bunch of teams. I'm tempted to use this one tonight. But uh, we're going to use the penguin, as I said. So, Cameron, how are you doing, mate? I hope you're well, dude. And uh, everything in your life is going going well, my friend. Thanks for joining us tonight. Um, hopefully, the stream will be a lot of fun. Dude, I haven't even had a chance to check out that DM yet. I will do it after the stream, though. I literally got in from work, showered, ate, and here we are. Um, so, yeah. Don't worry, I will I will 100% check it out. Pinko, oi oi, oi oi. Hello mate, how are you doing? Right, let's get into this one. Let's kick us off. Let's start finding an opponent. If you get tired of the Marnie tune as well, I'm a bit obsessed with it, just tell me and I'll change it. So, or if you've got any su suggestions for battle tunes and stuff like that, let me know. I don't really explore too many of the other ones. I'm kind of set with Marnie and it's it's been good. And Cameron, it is a spicy paste. I'm looking forward to seeing it, man. Is it the wheezing one? We've got Plukosh as our first opponent. Nappy, good evening. Scott, how are you doing? Long time no see. It has been a long time. Need more ice birds in your life. Everyone needs an ice bird in your life. Uh, okay, so. Uh, the steel, the double steel. I'm not enjoying straight away, but they're both... Well, the Togonomaru is definitely a physical attacker, so, I mean, there is that. Um, Duraladon's definitely a problem for us, um, because it will hit a little penguin pretty hard. Um, okay. A Bomber Snow feels really decent here. If we can get a board, if we can set ourselves a board position up with a Bomber Snow and Rhyperia in a Trick Room, I feel like we can just clean up pretty easily so I think that's what we're going to be aiming for maybe we don't go for um maybe we don't go for the the penguin to kick us off and try and just go for the steady old trick room here we'll go jealous and arcanine I'm gonna throw a bomber and we'll go right on in the back so see what happens see what happens uh and Cameron Weezing and Neuven I'm looking forward to seeing it man it's gonna be good <laughs> Stu how are you doing mate <laughs> Pinch me, it's real. <laughs> it's really happening. I'm here. I know, man. It's been so long. I feel really bad. Like, it's taken me so long to actually get into VGC. Um, but we're here. And we're going to give it a good crack. And uh, hopefully, the road is long now. <laughs> hopefully. Hopefully, it continues. Look how blue his eyes are. A beautiful boy. Oh, look at this. Just obscuring all the redirection in the world. Uh, all right. So, Barascuda. This thing maxes. Could be a bit of a problem. But I don't really mind. Like, I can get my Trick Room up, right? I don't think there's a way for them to really get the Jealous into here. Unless the Duraludon is life over and it's got Thunderbolt. But it might not as well. So, let's just go Snarl. I'm more concerned about the Duraludon here. And we'll go for a, a, a cheeky Trick Room. Let's see what we can do. Uh, I'm kind of sad there's no Dragon Eevee. That would have been so lit in VGC. I agree, man. It's sad that we didn't get any, like, new Eevee evolutions, really. I was totally pegging on you get at least one. Totally breaks down the whole logic of the, what is it, every even generation we get a new set of Eevee evolutions. It just hasn't happened. Maybe, though, maybe the DLCs have a surprise for us. Who knows? The Mons are awesome though. I, I do, I genuinely, like genuinely love Sword and Shield. And I think, I still stand by it. Like a lot of people say the story's lacking and whatnot. And I totally get that. Like, but I think when you think like now the DLCs are coming out, it kind of makes a little bit more sense. But the Pokemon are cool. Like all the designs, I think it's really balanced. No, we're gonna do crunch, but it's all right. And Shimon, thank you so much for the follow. And I hope you enjoy the stream with us tonight. Okay, so that's Colberberry coming in super handy there. Um, we should get the Snarl off before. Yeah, so that's that's fine. Uh, Duraludon, even if it has a Thunderbolt now, it's not going to be doing that much. And we do guarantee we get the Trick Room up, which is huge for us. Pop a big air balloon. Oh! Oh no! Jellison's too fat. Too fat to go down to that. Midge, how you doing? I hope you're well, mate. It has been a while. Uh, I'm loving competitive Pokemon. I haven't had enough time to play as much as I would like to, but uh, I am really enjoying it, man. So, yeah. How are you enjoying it? Right, let's go for... Um, Did we just get the 
the ride on in right now. It's kind of risky. I kind of want to get ride on in as soon as possible, but hmm. I feel like, huh? Can we pull a double switch? Do you think? Could we be like that cheeky to pull a double switch? Go into right, like go into bomber for that Arcanine, and go into ride on with jelly. There's no way they're going to flash cannon or go for a water type attack into jelly, right? Unless they've got their, like, the foresight of, like, a Jedi master. I don't know. But I feel like this is the board position we want. We said this at the start, right? So let's see if we can do something now. No! <laughs> that is definitely not what we wanted to see. Ugh. Why would you steal Spike? Why would you steal Spike? You don't need the defense boost, like, unless you are really worried about Arcanine. But I mean, I guess, yeah, physical Arcanine is a thing, so um, there is that. But I mean, we're still all right, so we're not too, we're still in it, still in it. Um, Okay, do we Leaf Storm or do we Blizzard? Hmm. Kind of tempted to Blizzard. There's a Barascudas. There's a Barascudas there. I'm going to Blizzard because I need extra damage onto that Duraludon. I'm not too worried about the Barascuda, to be honest. Because a Bomber Snow can eat that thing for dinner anytime it wants to. Minus one as well, so it's fine, right? I just don't think, like, a Max Quake now alone is going to be enough to do the Duraludon. Definitely not after the defense boost. And I really doubt whether we'll be able to even do it with a combination of Blizzard as well. So we might end up like... That switch into to Rhydon's not really helped us out at all. But I didn't expect our opponent to go for the, um, the Steel Spike there, so... So talk to you about the Penguin. The Penguin's great, man. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Um, no, the penguin's cool. The penguin's a really cool Pokemon. Come on, Abomasnow. Snow. Please be. Please take this thing down. Fire Scooter's actually stayed in, so. That's kind of interesting. Um, yeah, the penguin's cool, man. And I think, like, I think it'll be. Oh, Bomber Snow, you are the hero that we all need taking down that Duraludon. I don't care about the Barra Scooter. Like I said, it's fine. Um, yeah, the penguin, like, I think when Lapras comes out, I think that's when it's going to be like. Wow, okay. Didn't. See that coming. Wow. Close combat, eh? Huh. Okay. Now this makes it way harder if if um they've got Gastrodon to come in. Huh. Okay. Yeah, I'll bring jelly in. I'll bring jelly. We're, like, marginally winning right now. I mean, we got a Trick Room up, so we're sitting in a good position. I'm just worried about the Gastrodon being in, sitting in the back. Talk tomorrow. That's fine. And Dragapult. Okay. <sighs> um, hmm. We're not really in any position to go for... I mean, the Dragapult's pro hmm. yeah, the Dragapult's the thing we need to get rid of, okay? Because I'm I'm like not too worried about the Togonamaru right now. Um, they can't fake us out. They can't nuzzle us. I mean, they can Iron Head us, but we probably take an Iron Head. I'm gonna go for. Uh, do we go for a Max? We could go for the Dragon type attack and a Sap Strength into the Dragapult. Will that be enough to get it though? I don't know. Hmm. It will lower both of their attacks, so I mean it's probably worth doing. It does weaken our sap strength, but it's fine, because Jellicent... Whoa! Okay, Dragapult goes down this next turn, it's sashed, so this is fine. Murphy, how are you doing? Pokemarty, Jamie Boyd. <laughs> Jamie, we couldn't kick off. We couldn't kick off with the SQ, there was like two steel types. Come on, Jelly. Mr. Jelly's here. Okay. There's the lightning rod. That's why we use it. <laughs> I think we're going to be alright now. 
I don't think we take this, but it's fine. Because we still got a turn of... Oh, we do. Okay, Jelly's just a beast. Now, Dragapult goes down, and Togodomaru's just dust. So we kick off with a win, and we didn't use the Penguin, but we got plenty of time tonight to use the Penguin. Um, and talk about the Penguin. I feel like everyone's a big fan of the Penguin. I'm pleased that we got the Lightning Rod going, though. That was, that's that's kind of nice. Uh, let's... Nah, let's just Shadow Ball. Is it going to protect? I doubt it. The battle was cancelled, but that's fine. Uh, good game to my opponent, and a nice, nice way for us to kick off tonight. Um, yeah. I still think Lightning Rod's quite good. Like, it's weird because I... <sighs> Electric isn't really that prominent and it's like an attacking move in the format right now um, So is it worth it or is it worth running Rhyperia like I've went over this a million times in my head But Rhydon's a bit quirkier not a lot of new players know about Rhydon and Eviolite So it gives it gives another option and it's nice to uh, to talk about that. We do get a rare candy, which is very welcome um, For all those teams that I've got to build Yes, we want to continue battling our opponent didn't want to share their team with us as well. And to anyone that's just come into the stream, Shiz, Nigel, anyone I've missed, welcome. Hello. I'm sorry I missed you guys jumping in, but I hope you enjoy the stream with us tonight. We're going to have a lot of fun, and we're going to play a lot of the Penguin. We couldn't kick off with it, unfortunately. Double Steel was not kind to us. Okay. Is this going to be any easier? The talk hole scares me, of course. Like any talk hole would scare anyone. But it is a Trick Room team. Ride on seems kind of nice here. Uh, the mud stills, not not great. It's like a hard trick room team, right? So they've not got too many fast things. Doesn't feel like SQ's like that great a pick once again. But uh, what are we gonna do? Do we let our opponent set the trick room up? I mean, it's an option, right? I'm kind of worried about like them just leading off with like the psychic spam and just like just spamming stuff which wouldn't really be ideal for us. Um I do think Mimikyu probably comes out. Could we maybe bring the penguin here? The penguin might be decent to be honest. Like the penguin could be all right. We'll we'll bring Arcanine. We'll bring point penguin penguin boy. Um do we want Ride on a Jellicent? Probably Ride on, and maybe a Bomber Snow. You know, just to disrupt the weather, gives us a nice outlet as well. Um, the only thing is, we're kind of we're a bit weak to the Conkledur, which is a little bit worrying. But I think we can get around it. I think we can get around it. And what did I use at Germany? Scott, I used uh, a team that my good friend Krim um, gave me. I racked my brain, panicked all week because I hadn't had much time to actually prepare for Germany. Um, and literally after hours and hours and literally hours of conversation, I kind of went back on myself and came around to Charizard being the good call. And um, it was a good call, to be honest. And like, I'm not one really to complain too much about RNG, but... Um, like, my low accuracy moves weren't really on point that day, um, and that, that was the big problem for me, you know. Um, Icicle Crash missed when I didn't need it to, Heat Wave, and they're just team choices. So, I can't really complain. I feel I played well for how many, how much time I had to kind of practice and stuff like that. So, um, in that regard, it was, it was fine. But um, I can't really share the team because it's Crims. Uh, so if he's happy to share it, then that that's super cool. If not, though, um, then I'm sure at some point once he's finished using it, he'll be able to um, to share it. There you go, Jamie. Here's the little penguin. There's not really much we can do about denying the trick room. I'm kind of just using Arcanine here just to weaken the, the special attackers here because we just want to make sure that we are... Doing as much damage as possible. I probably would have been better off going for um, an Icicle Crash there. But I mean, just to get extra damage off. But it's still it's still alright. 
We're not in the, the worst position. Don't really want to switch anything in here. And it might be worth just... Um, yeah, I don't really want to switch anything in. And I think my opponent has to kind of worry about us going for the Iron Head. So we'll just go for a Snarl and we'll try an Icicle Crash into the Hatiurn. Ha I don't want to make the same mistake as last time where I switch in the ride on and get chunked a bunch of damage. Neski's kind of bulky enough to probably take like a double up here, so it's, it's kind of fine. An Arcanine. Yeah, it's just going to chomp its berry. This is why Icicle Crash is the worst move in the game. Um, <laughs> not kidding. It's terrible. But this is fine because we're kind of ticking down my opponent's Trick Room turn. So, like, it's really not the worst thing in the world. Um, I don't think they're going to go for a follow me again. I think they're going to double attack. And I still think that Eski will take the Dazzle and the Psychic. Because we got the Citrus Berry, right? And then we can get rid of the Hattie N. And it's maybe not the best thing to do to get rid of it now. But I think we deny the Trick Room later on. So it's, it's kind of alright. Arcanine should... No, it doesn't. It doesn't take it. Puzzle Eskew. <laughs> Can you imagine? Wow, it's so weak without the belly drum. So weak without the belly drum. Um, we probably don't want to bring the, the Bomber Snow in just yet. Because we want to kind of save it to abuse the weather later on. We can get rid of the... We can probably get rid of both now with a Rock Slide. Could we go for a cheeky belly drum? No, we, we don't want to do that. We don't want to do that. Um, I'll go for a liquidation into the Indeedee. Just in case the Torkoal decides to stick its head in. But I don't think it will. Good players hit their moves. This is true. This is why we all know. <laughs> we all know. How good a player I am. This is why I never hit my moves. And I feel like like losing Arc isn't the worst. It's kind of done its job. Uh, the Trick Room's nearly finished now as well. So, you know, we get rid of the Trick Room set out of the redirection, which is fine. The cost of Arcanine and a bit of damage on Eskew and our Rhydon. I don't mind this. We could have belly drummed there. But, I mean, we wouldn't be in a great position anyway. It'll just depend... It I can imagine the tall pole coming out here though. 100 percent yeah. Shiny. Shiny turtle. Okay, and Mudsdale. Alright. Hmm. Right, let's let's Dynamax. Let's go for the the the, the turtle. Um do I just sack Eskew and keep a bomber snow with its sash? Might be a better idea, you know. We're just going to get Eruption, though. That's the problem. Uh, and to be honest, I'd rather just sack Eskew now and get a Bomber Snow and fresh. Like, Rhydon should take... Like, Dynamax should take a combination of attacks from the Tokol and the Mudsdale. I'm hoping. And Jamie. I don't know, Jamie. I've got... I've got... I've got something that will tell me how it's pronounced. I haven't looked at it yet, but um, Ice Q. Ice Q. Can we just, should we just call it Penguin? Okay, that's fine. As long as we kind of take, or do enough damage to the Torkoal here. This is like... Okay, right on taking that like a champ. I mean, if we can take the Torkoal down here, I'm not really convinced we will, but... Oh, we do. Okay. That's fine, because the Trick Room ends now. Ride on and a Bomber Snob be able to outspeed the the horse. And there's no way the horse takes, like, wins this, even if it Dynamaxes. So I think... I think we managed the situation. But, Jamie, I will find out for you. And... <laughs> <laughs> for the next stream, and I'll make sure to dedicate the pronunciation, the correct pronunciation for you. Um, so we find ourselves in a nice position again. Um, 
Let's just max quick. And go for that tasty blizzard. Because I'm thinking, unless it's like a speedy mudsdale, which I doubt it is in a hard trick room team, it's going to be min speed, right? It did underspeed us anyway. Right on is the best. Here we go. Let's see how fat this thing can take these blizzards. I don't know if it's going to be able to take them very well. I don't know. We've always got a Aurora Veil as well that we can throw up if we feel like we need to. Can you freeze a Dynamax Pokemon? Like just a huge, huge ball of ice. I don't know if you can. Probably. What, Nigel? You can. You can freeze a Dynamax Pokemon. Oh, <laughs> please. If it's possible, can we please do it? Okay. we. I think we've got this. Unless it's Max Rockfall. Should be a little bit of a problem. Which should be the smart thing to do, I think, if you're the Mudsdale. Okay. Max Quick. Probably take our ride on down, but... Yeah, I think it's a bit too late now. I think, like, two blizzards will be enough to take down the horse. And we do have Leaf Storm as well. So, I mean, we got the Sash. Like, the best, their best option is Max Rockfall. Does a Leaf Storm take it down from this range? I'm worried about the Max Rockfall. I really am. I don't know if... Hmm... Because we could Aurora Veil right now. It would probably... Hmm. What's going to be better? Do we, like, the Blizzard's not going to take it down, I don't think. A single target. It was single target before. Leaf Storm. Let's go Leaf Storm. Let's see. Let's see. Nah, it's not enough. And the Max Rock Fall of Chaos. Because the Sandstorm will take us down to our Sash. So... The horse. Yeah. I don't even think an Aurora, Aurora Veil there would really save us. Um, It may do, but then we're still kind of in the same situation where... I mean, then we could protect, I guess. Stall out them Dynamax and then go for a Leaf Storm. That probably would have been the way to do it. Um, So... Never mind. Good game to my opponent. Good game, Carl. The horse. The horse is too strong. Hmm. I feel like we had opportunities there to maybe play a little bit differently and not be so scared of the trick room. Um, especially after we got rid of the Ndidi Hatian uh, and maybe set up a belly drum. Maybe. Look at that. Chunking. 2,000 places in one hit. Okay. Does anyone want any different music as well? Like, if you want something different to Marnie, let me know. I was saying at the start of the stream, I'm pretty bad at selecting anything other than Marnie. Okay. Hop battle theme. We'll do that next, Midge. I should have asked that before we came into this. The searching screen. Okay, so we've got Colspan, uh, Gastro, Arcanine, The Horse, Ant. Uh, okay. So, Grimmsnarl and Gyarados. Um, so, against the Ant, I kind of am forced to lead in DD and... Have they got redirection, have they? They haven't. Okay. Do they lead Ant? They probably do. I'm going to lead Arcanine in DD. Um, can we bring... I think we can bring the SQ here. Um... It's going to be a problem for us setting the SQ up. Not much, really. Maybe the Gastrodon. Um, do we need the Trick Room? Probably not. I mean, I don't really know what... Uh, the Gyarados could be a bit of an issue. I'm going to bring a Bomber Snow on the back, though. I think that will that will seal the deal. Just in this one. <clears throat> Lavender Town. And lovely, how are you doing? I hope you're well. Thanks for hopping in the stream tonight. You've not missed a lot. This is our third match. We're 1-1 one one at the minute. 
Um, and we've not really been able to feature the penguin too much so far, but hopefully as we go on, we'll be able to bring it a little bit more. So the horse comes out. I mean, that's a good call for my opponent, for sure. And it's on tempo. Yeah, so it's definitely swagger stuff. Um, I mean, we can just burn. We can follow me. I'm gonna definitely follow me because we want to pull in the the swagger for sure. We don't want to let the the horse get boosted up. Um, so we will follow me, and we'll go for a cheeky cheeky will o' wisp. Maybe it's lum. I don't know though. If it's lum, it kind of slows us down. But I mean, if not, then it's fine. Oh, we told everyone about the rant. Now it's done well in comp. Everyone is running it. This is the fact, man. We're getting played. Getting played, boys. <laughs> Taken to school. Here we go with the reflect or the light screen. Yeah, there we go. Okay. I mean, this is this isn't the worst. So. Hmm. Um. Okay. Not really got anything I want to bring in against the Alcanine. Um, I mean, we could just start psyching, psychicking it. Um, and I guess we could throw up a safeguard. It's probably all we've got right now. Um, I mean, the other thing is that we could switch Alcanine out to Eskew right here. I feel pretty safe doing that. Like they're not gonna go. The the worst case scenario here is Heat Wave. They're not flare blitzing into our Arcanine. But I did say this before about the um the steel spikes and it and it happened. It's like they heard us. Okay, they go for the safeguard, that's fine. Still does a nice chunk of damage even behind that light screen, right? It's definitely special Arcanine though. Uh, so we'll switch back into our, our own Arcanine. We can just start. We can just keep chipping this. This opposes an Arcanine down. Like it's probably got Citrus, so we're gonna need at least two more Psychics, three more. I don't know. Worlds will be very different now due to the DLC. Maybe Stu. I don't know if they'll open the decks up though with the DLC decks. Or whether they'll just keep it like it is right now. That's the the, the interesting thing, I think. Um, yeah, like Nigel saying, I wouldn't have thought it would, it'll be, like, legal. I can't imagine them introducing, like, Garchomp and Salamence and stuff like that and allowing them into the decks. But you never, you, like, you literally never know. They could do anything, couldn't they? There's the cheeky old flamethrower. Cheers, Arcanine. Oh, no, Citrus Berry. Okay. Um, so we'll be able to get rid of this Arcanine now. Whether or not the Grimmsnarl switches in, that'd be another thing. Um, do we just go for Snarl just to weaken the Gastrodon? It's probably not a bad idea, to be honest. Okay, here comes the Snarl. So we'll do that right back. And the Gastrodon's not maxing as well. So I think the thing is, like, once Arcanine's down, our Bomber Snow has a way easier time. Our Eskew has a way easier time as well. And the thing is, we're kind of keeping Ndidi around. Ah, oh, it's a Super Berry. No. The Mago Berry isn't really what we want to be seeing here, but... And the other path. Okay. Hmm. Do we preserve Arcanine for later? Like, what potentially is my opponent? Hmm. They have got the Durant, which could be a bit of a problem for sure, but. Hmm. Okay, let's just snarl again. And Scott, I just want talent flame. <laughs> yeah, man. 
Talon. Is Talon in the DLC? Has it been confirmed? I don't think this Psychic's going to take down the Arcanine. This is the slowest game in the history of slow games. We need to really, like, ramp things up a bit. Come on. Okay, so we're going to lose Arcanine here. Um, but... Okay, I think we, we have to bring in a Bomber Snow. But I can't really bring in Eskew. I need to get rid of the Arcanine before we bring in Eskew. Um, although... Minus two. Could we do it? I don't know if we can belly drum. Can we belly drum? We can. We've got follow me. What am I talking about? Of course we can do it. We're in a perfect position to do this. Forget we've got good old Ndidi beside us. So this is what we want. This is exactly what we want every day of the week. So there's the belly drum. We're going to get the penguin gone, guys. Come on. Let's get this. Let's get it started. <laughs> yeah, now they now they pull out the heat wave. They've got flamethrower and heat wave, just just to make sure. But Ice Q is like crazy. It goes from like what is it, fifty base speed or sixty base speed to like one thirty, which is just nuts. They probably snarl here, which I don't really mind at all. Yeah, just to get some damage. But thankfully, this doesn't break out ice base. And Ice, Ice Q, or SQ, however we're pronouncing it, doesn't really care about its special type attack. So here we go. Nice. Now the thing is, we could really deal with uh, Ice Face getting broke, but I guess it's kind of nice just keeping it around for a little while. But I mean, things are just going to drop, start dropping now. Pretty hard. Uh, I mean, there's no reason for us not to follow me here. Um, we just let's just liquidation the Arcanine. I mean, it could Dynamax. I want to kind of hold off Dynamaxing for a little, a little while, a little while. What's this? That's the Grim Snow. Hopefully, it drops. No, we've done it. <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> I'm such a dork. Why have I just done that? Come on. <laughs> okay, we've got to give our opponent. I'm thinking of the handicap, all right? Oh, my God. Really? Um, I can't believe I just did that. I really can't believe I just did that. <laughs> uh, right, let's, let's actually... Well, then Ironhead get it. I tell you what we're going to do. We're going to max Steel Spike. And we're just going to go for the... Um... Fabian, how are you doing? You come in at the perfect time. <laughs> Look, guys. We've not got Lele. We've not got, like, the, the Psychic Terrain shenanigans like we've had. I know I'm using Psychic Terrain, but come on. We've got to have something that I can do to... Uh... <laughs> mess things up. I can't believe it. Well, I can believe it. This is bound to get it, right? Easy. Okay, that's good. I hope the ant is in the back and we can just demolish it with our SQ. Because the nice thing is, as long as we've got our ice face, the ant can't really touch us that first turn. And then we instantly outspeed everything. And the light screen's wearing off now, so... Um, Pampros. Oh, it's the horse. Ha. Oh, excellent. Is it going to go max? Let's go for this. Is Ice Q the best pink shiny? Look at it. Okay, well, let's have a, let's have a look. It's definitely the best pink shiny. Look at it. It's like strawberry flavored ice. What's not to like about it? The big question is, can the horse take plus six Icicle or Max Hailstorm? I don't know if it can. I don't think it's that strong, right? Not even Dynamaxed. My opponent hasn't even brought the Ant to this match. 
which makes it way easier to, to come on come on penguin let's do this for the stream oh it takes it okay that's a surprise I'm surprised it took that but I don't really care because the gas will go first it'll knock out then DD DD's done all the work here right um, and Mudsdale's now gonna break our ice face and we're gonna take no damage from this whatsoever and we get to see its cheeky little face <laughs> it's gonna pop out look at it what wait come on and now we just obliterate everything oh no we're not gonna though because we're gonna bring the Obama snow in and we're gonna get our ice face back which is like the, the opposite to what we want but I guess it's all right the reflect wears off so they did have the reflector but it's fine we can just blizzard spam. Here we go. We should get our ice face back. Oh, we don't. Oh, no, because the hail has to be set up again, right? So, no, this is this works out way better. So, we'll just go blizzard and max hail. I'm thinking there isn't, there isn't the hail up. So, yeah, it's hailing already. So, we don't get it back. But it kind of works out better that we don't get it back. What's the damage going to be like? I mean, Arcanine is so low health as well right now that it doesn't really matter uh, what we throw. Out. Like, we can throw a Max Hail Storm at it and it'll go down. We don't really need the, the liquidation right this minute, so we're kind of we're kind of all right. I mean, we can probably just go Max Hailstorm into Arcanine or Icicle Crash. Is that a three turns? Or is it not? I don't know. Okay, that's a three turns. So it gets a little bit shaky now. It gets a little bit shaky. Is an Iron Head going to be enough? Get the Arcanine? Yeah, I think so. Let's Leaf Storm the Gastro and let's Iron Head the Arcanine. There's no way that Iron Head doesn't take it down from this damage. Yeah. <laughs> Nigel screaming at me. Use Iron Head. <laughs> we did it. We did it. We did it. It's fine. Good game to my opponent. We got the Penguin working, so that's the best thing about it. Um, Yes, we want to continue battling. First win for the penguin. Well, we did get the first, we got the win to kick us off with today, but we didn't use the penguin. So technically, yeah, this is the first win for the penguin, which we'll take. Okay, so hop, hop. Where are you? Ah, uh, literally stopped on the the one that no one wants. Max raid battle. I mean, it's all right. Okay, here we got Henry, um, Excadrill, Toga Kiss, Conk. I mean, this is like, where's the Grim Snarl? That's all I'll say. Um, but yeah, I mean, can we just go belly drum and just start wrecking stuff? I think the only thing that worries me a little bit is, is the Arcanine if it's special Arcanine. Um. Because I think we can safely get the belly drum up. We'll go for it anyway. What what happens? What's our fallback here? Um, probably we want Jellicent and maybe Arcanine. I'm just thinking like the Dracovish could be a little bit of a problem. I mean, a Bomber Snow is not bad. We could go Jelly. We could go Jelly Bomber Snow. I think that kind of works in some roundabout way. Rotom Maw is yes. Yeah. Nick, how are you doing? I haven't even said hello. Krim, my man, how are you doing, mate? Thanks for joining the stream. I hope you got to witness the, the penguin. The penguin the last the last game. Doing some stuff. Doing some things. Right, let's see what we can do here. 
I'm hoping this is going to be nice and straightforward where we can just follow me, belly drum, Dynamax, and just start knocking things out. I think the only thing that could be a bit problematic, maybe the Dracovish and the... Uh, yeah, that's definitely a bit of a problem. Because the Dracovish definitely gets... Definitely gets... A good old Indeedy here. And if the Arcanine's special... Hmm... I mean, do we just... <laughs> do we go for it anyway? I mean, the one thing I could probably do is just go... But ally switch. Hope that it isn't heat wave. Hope that we get the belly drum. Get our ice face broken and then we can Dynamax and start doing some stuff the next turn. So let's see, let's see. I have seen the power of the face smash. I've not even got face smash on this one, but I mean head smash. Okay, so snarl. That's fine. You don't mind that. That's super fine. And it's not scarfed. It's going crunch. That's perfect. Okay. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> now, do we... I mean, we could just go... Yeah, we just Dynamax. Uh, liquidation into the Arcanine and follow me. Because if indeed he goes down to whatever the Dracovish throws out at us, that's kind of not the worst. Because then we get a Bomber Snowing and we get our Ice Face back. So it's all it's all alright. It's all alright. Uh, it's just what you call the paint. It's a good name. I should nickname it after you, Krim. For all the help that you give me for Borkum. I wouldn't have had as good a tournament even though it wasn't the best end result, I still feel like it was a success. Got points, um, and after having like such little time to kind of do it, like without your help, man, it wouldn't have happened. So, and your team's lit. Like, there's a lot of people asking about it as well. Like, but I'm just it's not my team to give out. So, Come on, let's just nuke. I just want to. I just want to nuke an Arcanine with this thing. <laughs> Murphy, you had a great run at Bockham. The best Arcanine counter in the game. It's Bro Squid. How are you doing? Thanks for joining the stream tonight. I hope you're well. It's been a little while, but thanks for hopping in. The crunch. Hopefully, it takes us down, right? Yeah, that's that's great. Now, do we want to bring in a Bomber Snow just yet? Or do we want to... Uh, I think Jelly might be a good option here, you know? Because I, I just want to be able to outspeed the fish. And if we bring in a Bomber Snow right now... Hmm. Yeah, this is probably better for us because now we can nuke the, the Conkledur. Hmm. Do I go for the Max Hailstorm, though? It's probably... Hmm. It might be better doing this, actually. Going into the Dracovish with a Max Hailstorm. Switching up... Hmm. No, no, it's not. I think we need to get rid of the... Ah. Uh, conk, conk, conk. Yeah, we could do. We could get our face back. We could get our face back. It's just that the conk will probably double tap into us. So I think we need to get rid of the conk. Um, and then switch into a bomber snow. And then if the Dragovish goes for an attack into Ice Cube. Which I think it will do. I just hope my opponent doesn't make the mistake of forgetting that the Psychic Train's then going for an... Uh, um, for a Mac punch. Because this is probably the better way to do it. Where's the trainer gone? We're, we're battling a ghost. What is <laughs> what is this? Where's the trainer gone? 
It's an invisible trainer, like a plus six. Max Hailstorm should still get the Concord, all right. I'm worried. I'm worried. I'm always worried. There's no reflect up, so I'm hoping that this is the case. Crunch. Bomber takes it. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Hopefully it does. It doesn't. Okay. This is fine, because we're back to our speed now. And I think a Bomber Snow should be able to get the Concorder. Do we outspeed the Concorder? That's the big question. Like, we should be able to get um, the Dracovish now. Yeah, so we'll go Dracovish, and then we'll go Blizzard as well. So we go Max Hailstorm into the Dracovish, uh, uh, which we'll get it, and then we go, we'll go Blizzard. And that should get the Conkle though. And even if Penguin goes down here, like, as long as we get the, the fish, then, then we're fine, aren't we? Oh, Max Guard. Even better. Even better! <laughs> the trainer new outfit. It's like the... Harry Potter, magical, invisible clock. I think Uncle Dill goes down to, to hail damage here and the burn. I don't think the Max Guard was like the right player here, but I don't really know what else my opponent had to kind of do. So they, they, they actually stick around. Okay. I thought it would have done a little bit more than it did. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Togi. Uh... <laughs> oh, come on, come on, the salt, the salt is real. I'm not, I'm not pleased that they're taking this moment away from us. The penguin gets another victory. Okay. Bad sportsmanship, bad sportsmanship, whoever that was, I don't know. The invisible trainer, DC in on us, the rage quit. It's quite funny though. Oh, we get another rare candy just for our troubles. So whoever that was, good game. I hope you enjoyed your time with the penguin. Um, Guy Pult, Guy Punt, sorry. How are you doing? I hope you're well. Thanks for dropping into the stream tonight. Uh, yeah, we'll continue. We'll continue on. We'll continue. That's mad though. Like, I didn't realize that. Like, that must be some mad glitch going on there with the trainer, right? Okay, so we found our next opponent, Jink. What's Jink got? Jink has got Arcanine, Darmanitan, Dracovish, Grimmsnarl, Noivern, and the uh, the old Rotom Maw. Hmm. Okay, so like again, Heatwave Arcanine does worry me a little bit. Not too much though. Although, it probably is special, because it's so... Hmm, is it special, though? Because the Noivern definitely is. I'd say the Rotom is. Are the other three just all physical? Maybe. Maybe. I mean... Kind of tempted just to go this again. There's so many physical-type attackers there. The Noivern definitely, with a Boom Burst, could be a bit problematic, for sure. Uh, we'll bring Jelly and... Honestly, I think a bomber snow again. It's gonna be the same fall. Let's go for it. Nick, why ride on and ride here? Well, I wanted lightning rod, so if you're gonna go down that route, um, you may as well go. If you're if you're like ride on, you're getting more out of you're getting more defensive bulk uh, going down that route than you are ride here lightning rod. So um, that's that's the simple answer. If you need one, so there you go, mate. Hope that helps answer that question. Ice Q is my boy. Ice Q is the the coolest mon. I'm scared of Boom Burst here. Are we gonna see it? Are we gonna see Heat Wave even from the Noivern? Hmm. What's the Noivern gonna do? Is it gonna Tailwind Dracovish? Do we go for the Belly Drum though? That's the big question. Hmm. Could ally switch rather than 
I could ally switch. It might be better ally switching than follow me. -ing. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. This Neuvern going. Yeah, okay. Probably go on max airstream. If we don't see a max airstream here, or like, then we're in a decent position to take down the Noiva in the next turn, which we're not now, unfortunately. So, but that Psychic Seed coming in kind of nice right here because the ice fish should just get destroyed by the the dracovish dracovish isn't actually scarfed either so hmm Okay, so I'm gonna actually Dynamax. I'm gonna go Max Hailstorm into the Neuven, and I'm gonna switch into a Bomber Snow here. Get our Ice Face back and hope that Ma Max will be able to take an Airstream from the Neuven, because I'm thinking that's what it's gonna go for. As long as we get our Ice Face back here, we're not too worried about what the, the Drachovish can do. So that's, that's fine. And Japan, if you want the rental code for this team, uh, I did a video yesterday with this team on YouTube. Uh, if you go over there at the end of the video, the the rental code team is um, is over there. So check that out, man. The rental codes there. Have a go with the team. And if you do, I hope you like it. And Stan Hawk One, I haven't even said hello this evening, but thanks for joining the stream. Hope you enjoy it and uh, get something out of the penguin action tonight. Max Airstream. Can we take it? This is the oh wow. Wow, it's into a bomber snow, which is the best. The best. The best of all situations here. Because if they double into that slot, right? Then we get Ndidi back in and we got the follow me action continuing on. We're gonna be able to get rid of this Neuvern. No, okay. Well that's that's still fine, right? The problem is the Dracovish is pretty much outspeeding everything right now, which is not ideal. And Stan Oak One, thank you so much for the follow. No, Nick, I didn't bring this team to Bokum. Um, I literally built this team like about three, three days ago. <laughs> so, yeah. I wish I'd brought it to Bokum. It would have been a lot of fun. Um, but I did have a nice team in Bokum anyway, courtesy of our good, our good friend, uh, Krim. Hmm. I'm a bit. I am super. I'm super worried about this. This fish now. I'm not so much worried about the Arcanine. Um, hmm. Can we take a vicious rend? That's the thing. It's going to be doubled. I don't know if we're going to be able to do it. Hmm. And do we max... I don't... No, I need to get rid of the, the Drachovish. I mean, do we need to get rid of it? Because it can't really touch... Like, if we get rid of the Arcanine, which is probably the better thing to do right now. Um... And try, well, we can't get... No. Do we switch out? Probably... Nah, I think just go for... Just go for the blizzard. Even though we're going to have the rain up. Oh, it's a bit awkward. Okay. Ah! Ethox VGC, how are you doing? The penguin. Okay, well... I mean, we get a free blizzard off, so it's not the end of the world, right? Um, and we're in a really good position now just to bring Jelly in. 